In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a small caravel in Minecraft. Now if you're new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you're interested in more ship tutorials, I'll make sure to leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a full ship tutorial playlist. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so for the introduction section, what we're going to do is go over how many blocks long it is, how many wide, all of that kind of stuff, how many you'll need to build it underwater, as well as if you are having it docked up, where you're going to need to start placing blocks, things like that, uh, that will kind of help you over. So in total, the ship is 28 blocks long, it's 17 blocks wide, and it's 27 blocks high, although, you know, the height doesn't really matter too much. Um, it doesn't usually actually affect anything. So if you are building this one underneath the water, you can either, you've kind of got a choice with this one, it's a little bit odd, because uh, usually they're kind of like are or aren't. Um, this one, you can either be, you know, have your water level like this level, or you can have it one block higher. Um, it's totally up to you. I would actually recommend having it at this level. It means that the top of the rudder's sticking out, but it also means the cabin, you then have this nice water level underneath it. Um, otherwise, your water will be, you know, look like the cabin's almost being submerged a little bit or, or about to be submerged. So what does that actually mean? Well, it means that if your water level is here, so this is your, your ocean, place a block right next to it, go down one block, that is the level, that is the start level basically. So that's the start level where we're going to be doing layer number one, where we're going to place in, be placing the first couple of blocks. So I would recommend building a square around this one. Again, it's 28 blocks long and 17 blocks wide. Um, so that includes the sails, the masts, all of that. Um, in total, the actual ship itself is seven blocks wide. So that's the hull, including these extra like slab bits that are just you know sticking out on the sides of this. Um, it includes those. So yeah, um, if you are building the box, and you didn't want to know where it is, we're going to be doing this anyway when we get onto the first layer, but uh, this will kind of help you. So it's dead in the center of this box, which means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is your midpoint. And then where it gets to the first layer, it's actually one, three, five, seven blocks. It's actually the eighth block right there. As you can see, that's kind of like where your front is. Depends where your dock is. If your dock was, say, here, uh, going up like that then you know you could have it right over and actually have it sticking over a little bit or you could have it back but at least you can see kind of from here and be able to pause it have a look and go okay that's where the box is that's where we're going to be building it that's how close I want it to be and then these will, bits will be over that can at least help you in the same kind of like from the back as well um, you've just got this one block it's a lot easier from the back one block where it goes over with the little lamp uh, lantern so you know you could have your wall there uh, or you could have your wall there I would definitely recommend that I always like having a gap block but that's just me. But that's it guys for this little intro section. Uh, make sure to grab a couple blocks while we're here. Um, oak slab, oak stair, oak block. I'm also going to need spruce slab, spruce stair and spruce block and also spruce fence for the first couple layers and then we'll get into the more specific blocks as we go up and get this dark oak layer and the acacia layers and all that kind of stuff we'll talk about as we go up. But anyway, let's get into it. So for layer number one, what we're going to do is I've got my box here. It's really difficult to see. I definitely chose the wrong wall color going with green, uh, but it's because I'm making my way through the through the colors. Um, but from the edge, doesn't matter which one, we're going to go over by nine blocks. And I'll notice I skip over them. Uh, so it's like one, three, five, seven, nine. It's just easier to be able to see it. Otherwise, as soon as you get a solid color, a solid block, you can't really sometimes tell from a distance what's going on. But with a got block gap, you definitely can. Um, what we're going to be then from that is seven blocks back. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. That's where our starting point is going to be, as we can see from that box. Obviously, if you're building this one on the flat ground, it doesn't matter. And if you're going to be world paint, world painting it in, world editing it in, should I say? God, what's wrong with me? Right. Grab your oak slab then. We're going to place down one oak slab on the upper part of that block. We're then going to have two blocks behind that. On the side of this block, we're going to have an oak slab on the upper piece, like that. We're going to have, uh, I think we've got a total of three blocks this time. One, two, and three, like that. So three blocks going back there. On the last two, we're going to have oak slabs on the upper, and that is correct, I just checked. Um, so that is that there. We're then going to have four blocks behind this, one, two, three, and four. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two oak slabs on the upper, on the back of that. Right behind this, we're actually going to have four blocks. So where we've got this little gap here, we go one, two, three, and four. 
like that. Two oak slabs right on the back, one and two. Then move inwards, we're going to have a block diagonally. And just put in two blocks behind that. Now grab your spruce fence, we're going to whack that in right there. And then we're going to whack a oak plank block right on the back. And you should be two blocks away, or if you include the, the line, that's totally up to you. I include the line as one of my blocks. Uh, but yeah, we've got those two blocks right there. So we need to do the same on the other side. It's not too bad. First what we'll do is we've got this block here, we're going to place down a oak slab. We're going to have a total of three blocks behind this, one, two, and three. On the last two, we're going to have upper oak slabs, one, two, like that. Then what we're going to do is have four blocks, one, two, three, and four. Then we'll have two blocks of oak slab, one and two. Right behind this, we're going to have four blocks, one, two, three, and four, like that. And then right at this back part, we're going to have two oak slabs just there like that. So all we need to do, you'll notice this nice big gap. You can technically put slabs in here. A lot of them you can actually put, replace with slabs. Um, I usually just go with blocks. It gives you a nice big flat area. And when you get around to interioring this, you almost end up switching this out. I, I used to do it all the time when um, I'll do it in slabs. But as you can see, you get this nice flat area. You can place stuff down. If you go down to the slabs on this, you then can't really place blocks on this. You don't really gain enough uh, space. So that's the reason I'd go with blocks. But guys, it's totally up to you, you know? You are, well, it's as much your build as it is me showing you how to build it. You know what I mean? So anyway, let's get on to the next layer. And for layer number two, what we're gonna do is grab your oak plank block, place that on top of the last, and then we're gonna go forwards with an upside down oak stair like that. We're then gonna have another oak stair upside down right on that block that we've already got. Might as well do it on the other side as well while we're here. Then we're gonna have two blocks of oak planks behind it, one and two one and two like that. Now we get to switch over to our spruce stairs. So we're gonna have an upside down spruce stair right here. Then we're gonna have 11 blocks behind this of spruce planks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 like that. So we're gonna be over by two blocks. We're then gonna have two blocks of spruce slab on the upper piece there. Behind this, we've got this gap, we're actually gonna have two blocks of oak planks. Then we're gonna have an upside down oak stair. Then right on this block here, we'll have an oak plank block. Gonna have another spruce fence on top of that. And an oak plank block directly on top of the last rudder. And as you can see, what we've got with this one is these like striping oaken spruce. Uh, I quite like it. I think it looks kind of cool. So yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to go with it. And it's a bit different from some of the other ships that I've done whole wise. So on the other side, we're gonna have that upside down spruce stair right on the side of that oak plank block. We're then gonna have 11 blocks behind this of spruce planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and 11. So that means we're two blocks over from that slab is what I'm talking about. Two blocks over here. We've then got two blocks of spruce slab or two, two spruce slabs, I guess. <laughs> then we're gonna have two oak plank blocks just in that gap to fill that up. And then an upside down oak stair block in there like that. But that is it for layer number two. So for layer number three, what we're going to do is grab your spruce planks, place that directly on top of the last layer, the oak plank, uh, oak stair layer that we had before. We're going to have an upside down spruce stair either side of this. You notice it's quite flat it's because it goes kind of up and then then out like that. It's kind of like a little bit of an S shape. Um, what we're going to do behind that is we're going to have two spruce planks, one and two, one and two, just like that. Then we're going to have an upside down spruce stair. Let's put that on both sides, just like that there. We're then gonna have one block of spruce planks behind this. Switch over to your oak planks, we're gonna have 12 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, like that. Then grab your spruce planks. We're gonna have two on the back of this, one and two. So one and two. You're gonna need to grab a new block now, which is dark oak slab. So we're going to have that on the back here, that on the back there. It's all to do with this little cabin here. It gives it a little bit of a shape, this, this kind of circular shape. That's all. <laughs> so that's the only reason for it. Um, grab your spruce stair. We're going to have that on the sides of these ones, like that. Then what we're going to do is have an oak plank block in the middle and an oak stair block on the back to finish up the rudder and you get this nice little looking thing here where the, the spruce kind of disappears onto this block uh, and the rest of the oak kind of then moves into itself. 
But guys, that is it for layer number three. So for layer number four, what we're gonna do is grab your oak plank block, place that directly on top of the last layer, then go forwards with an upside down oak stair, right there. We're now gonna have a normal oak stair, right here and right here, just on the side of that plank block. Then two blocks of oak planks, one, two, and one, two, like that. Where we've got this upside down spruce stair, we're gonna have an oak plank normal. So right there, like that. Then two blocks of oak planks behind this. One, two, one, two. Gonna to need to grab a new block, which is a dark oak planks, and we're gonna have nine blocks of this behind it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, like that. Then what we're going to do is with our oak planks, we are going to have four blocks behind this. One, two, three, and four. So one, two, three, and four, like that. Then we're going to need another block. Actually, we might do, we'll place a couple of blocks in the front first before we get onto that. Grab an acacia slab. So it is another block you need to grab, but there's even more we need for the back. Right on the side of this block here, this oak plank block, we're going to have an upper Acacia slab, then we're gonna have a lower one going back and then an upper one. This is all part of the detailing on the front. So right here, upper, lower, then upper, just like that. It's nice and simple. We are gonna to need to grab a dark oak stair and I'm just gonna have a quick nosy because I thought it was like that. Sorry, my picture does not show that at all. <laughs> I was like looking at it going, I'm sure I've done something with stairs. Anyway, we're gonna need a dark oak stair Gonna put that on top of that dark oak slab that we had. This is gonna be normal and facing the middle of the ship. So we've got that facing the middle of the ship. We're now gonna have an upside down dark oak stair right here. And this is gonna wrap around the back. This is the bit that I was thinking like, I've missed something here. But there we go, that wraps around the back there to get the cabin. And you can see, you can see that kind of circular pattern that we're trying to create. So that's all looking good. We can now go and grab our acacia slab again. At least we've got it all here. Um, what we're going to do on the back is, if we start in the middle, we have this on the upper slab, then we go lower slab, then upper slab. So we do that kind of a pattern there. On the side now, we're going to have upper, lower, upper, lever gap, upper, lower. Yep, I know. <laughs> Bit weird. But uh, yeah, so upper, lower, upper, lever gap, upper, lower. As if there was a lower in here. You, I mean, you can, if you want to, whack one in. Uh, that's what it would end up looking like overall. Uh, I just decided, actually, I want to have like this kind of pattern going up and then down, and it will finish up there. Why? Who knows? Grab your spruce slab now. We're going to leave a gap, so where we've got this dark oak block here, leave a gap and go one, two, and three. Those are just going to be for where we build the shrouds. So this one's a little bit different. You've actually only got uh, the shrouds, which are these kind of rope bits that go up only on the main mast. I didn't do it on the front mast. Um, there is kind of room to do it. I just ended up, when I was looking like, looking at doing it, it was ended up being in here, ended up being really cramped, so I, I ended up skipping it. But uh, if you did want to do something, feel free to play around with it and, and get it to work. I just I just felt it looked too cramped. But guys, that is it for layer number four. So for layer number five, first thing we're gonna do is grab a couple extra blocks. So um, we can do a bit of a rejig because we're, we're kind of like finishing up this hole. We're not really finishing up this time, but we're nearly there. Grab yourself a glass pane, a warped trapdoor, warped fence, acacia slab, dark oak slab, dark oak stair, and dark oak planks block. With your dark oak stair, we're gonna go on the front here. We're gonna have it where it's facing the front as in like we're looking towards the front. Probably should say that, yeah, looking towards the front. That's where we put a normal stair in there. Your dark oak plank, there's gonna be one behind that. Then we're gonna have three going across, one, two, and three like this. With our dark oak stair, we're gonna have a normal stair this way, facing the front, facing the front. Then we're gonna have one going facing the back and facing the back, so it's just off angle a little bit like that. We're gonna have one dark oak plank behind this, one and one. Then the dark oak stair facing the front, facing the front there. Three dark oak slabs, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Then when we go around to the back, we're gonna have a dark oak stair facing the back like that. We're gonna have four blocks of dark oak planks, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then with our stairs, have one facing the front. Then we're gonna have two facing the middle. So one there, two facing the middle, just like that. We're now going to have a dark oak plank block, glass pane, dark oak plank block, 
three glass panes going across the back. Let me just do the same on the other side like that. Let's get these nice windows. And then with these windows, you can put warped trapdoors over them. This is just to make it look a little bit fancier. You don't have to have them. You can have just colored glass. You can just have normal glass. You can put different trapdoors. Um, this is the thing. You can do whatever you want. It's all up to you. Right in the back, we're going to have a warped fence here and here like that. And with our acacia slab, if we do it on this side first, we're going to have an upper acacia slab here. Same with the other side as well. So right there. We're then going to have a lower one, then an upper one. So this is all to try and join it all together. So if we do the same on the other side, we get an upper one here, upper one right next to that window, lower than upper, like that. Okay. So if we go to the front now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a lower acacia slab right on the front of this one here. Then we're going to have an upper one up here, then a lower one, then a warped fence is going to be on the last acacia slab that we placed down. Well, one we did before. Sorry, not the one we last one we did, but you know what I mean, the layer before. And then an upper one like that. So same on the other side. So we go upper, lower, grab our warped fence, put that on top of the last layers uh, acacia slab. Then on top of this oak stair, we have a lower acacia slab, then an upper acacia slab there like that. So that is what we end up getting. And uh, guys, that is it for layer number five. So for layer number six, what we're going to do is if you come to the front where we've got this dark oak stair that we put in before, if you just place a block right next to it, we're going to have an upper dark oak slab as part of the bowsprit, this little bit that sticks out the front. Behind that, we're going to have a lower slab. We're then going to have a block of dark oak planks either side of that. Then with our dark oak stair, uh, slab, we're going to have one on top of this, one on top of this, and one on top of this, and one on top of this. Like there, so it ends up making it look like an upside down stair. I know you can't really see this one, but uh, it's a thought that counts, right? Oh, Piers, I've missed a block on this one. Somehow. What have we done there? That should be lower. There we go. No, that's fine. So if I didn't, yeah, I didn't do that right at all on one side. I did it on the right on the other one. How odd. So yeah, just correct that if if you've got the same thing where I've told you something completely wrong. Um, right, we're also going to put in the next layers block as well because it's only one block. We're going to have a lower slab, dark oak, over the top of that block there. So that's where we end up getting it. So we just get that. That that literally finishes up that little bit there. Uh, we might as well do the bow sprit as well. So if we go from this uh, slab here, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So let's get from there. So that is this slab here. So we're going to work our way up. One, two, three, four, and five. I know that I'm going to have to replace some of these, but that's absolutely fine. So if we go under like that. Oops. <laughs> I'm just placing blocks everywhere. That should be right on the edge of the uh, of your square. There we go. We'll get there eventually. Ah, right. So what we're going to do now is on the back, if we leave two of these solid blocks that we've got here, these two, um, two blocks, it's really t difficult to show you, but if those are two solid blocks, we're then going to have two slabs. So those are just going to be your normal uh, dark oak slabs. Over the top of this here, we are going to have a little dark oak stair archway. So it's just an upside down and an upside down either side of that. Um, if you guys have done my tutorials before, you'll know that this is like a quite a common feature that I end up doing on all of them. Um, but, you know, it just looks cool. That's, that's all it is. It's all about looking cool with these stairs down here and then this over here. That's about it. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to move inwards. So we're going to move inwards. Uh, if we look towards the front first, we're going to move inwards with a stair going this way. So this is where caravels, they get really thin, especially on the upper layers here. So this is what I was trying to do here. So we've got these two stairs in there like that. What we're then going to do to cover up the windows is we're going to have a dark oak slab here on top of that block. Then we're going to have two dark oak stairs going over it like that. So dark oak slab here two dark oak stairs just like that and then over the top of this we're going to have dark oak stairs going all uh, sorry blocks going all the way over the top you could if you wanted to put in stairs and stuff but as you can see the um the acacia that goes over it kind of covers up everything so that's the reason i didn't because when you look at it like this you're like wow that is plain that is really really plain that's weird anyway what we're going to do now for this back part actually we'll do the front part first because might as well do it in order uh right here we're going to have a slab in here 
So it's just got a slab distance between that one. Um, right up here, we're going to have a slab. Then on the fence that we've got, we're going to have a slab here. And we're going to have another slab. Actually, this one. I'm right, yeah. What, whatever I'd done before was actually correct. I somehow messed it up. I don't know how, but yeah, it's on the upper piece. Look at the picture. So we'll correct it on the other side because I've obviously done it wrong. Um, but it's fine. It Honestly, guys, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. But yeah, you've got that slab there. We've got that slab there. We're going to have one on the upper up here. One on top of this fence piece. And then this one here is the one that I got wrong, which that is on the upper part of the last layer. So obviously these are all slabs. It starts getting a bit... Uh, not really messy. I don't want to say messy. Confusing, I guess. It's probably the right, right word for it. So there we go. Got those two there. I feel like I've got an extra block somewhere. I think that one's an extra block that we didn't need. So looking at this and looking at that. Yeah. So there we go. I had an extra block there. You don't need that at all. That's what we want. It's a problem. It's so many slabs all over the place. Confusing me. So... Acacia slab on the back where we've got this dark oak stair here. I'm going to put an acacia slab on the top of it. We've got this little window. We're going to put an acacia slab over the top of that one. So you can now see the frame that kind of works on that. Right on the back, what we're going to do is we're going to have a slab. Then we're going to have an acacia stair. So there's a new block you're going to need. Then we're going to have a slab on the upper. And then an acacia stair. Then a lower one. So it's just to make it look a little bit more interesting as you can see here. So you get a little bit of an archway. You can do things like, um, like having it around the sides and things like this. Uh, if you wanted to, you could have that. Um, I just kind of wanted it to look a little bit bulkier and it, it just seemed to work. So on the other side, again, over this window, just put a slab in there. When you've got this dark oak stair, put a slab on top of that one. That is now all looking pretty good. So let's do the floor on this one. So for the floor, you're going to need to grab a couple blocks. We're going to need a composter, uh, a couple of them. Um, dark, stripped dark oak wood I ended up going with for this one. Uh, jungle slab, which is what I've used for the kind of deck. I was going to need a spruce trapdoor, oak trapdoor, and a ladder. So that's what we're going to be using. We are also going to need some other stuff, actually, thinking about it, such as, we might as well grab it while we're here, jungle stair, and also a grindstone, so we can actually put in a little wheel. So that's what we want to do. So if we start from the front of this one, um, we are actually going to be able to need to grab dark oak slab, so we can put this down here like that um, what we'll do is if we start on the side here so we're gonna have our jungle slab and where we've got this stair we're actually gonna have it on the lower piece here we're gonna have two there and then wrap this around like that so the bowsprit part of it this is carrying all the way through and then that goes all the way down this is where we're gonna have the first mass this is gonna be the front mass so put in a composter and then with a stripped dark oak wood we're gonna put that all the way down so then you get this nice little area here bit here and this is where we're going to put the ladder in so we can put the ladder on that bit knock that one out on the composter and put a spruce trapdoor in like that then what we're going to do is we're going to have I'll you know, go down with our uh, jungle slab and we're just going to bring this back a couple blocks to where we've got the uh, one block past that stair so that dark oak stair that's where we're going to go past so same on the other side just bring that all the way one one block past that we're going to have four oak trapdoors this is the hold so the way we can get in also provides really nice natural light as and you get the little little dots if you've got shaders on. I, I just think it looks really cool. Um, maybe that's just me. And we're going to have a composter right there, just like we did before. And then we're going to have the whole mast going down to the bottom of the ship like that. We're going to have a jungle slab on the same level just behind that mast. So it's literally just behind it. Then we're going to have slabs going around just around there this one right here is actually where we're going to put the wheel in so I used the jungle stair put it in that way then had a grindstone going sideways so it's just to raise it up so it looks like it's actually connected to something that's the only reason we use the uh, the actual stair there and then just have a slab on the back of that one like that then what we're going to do is we're going to have three slabs on the upper one two and three so one two and three like that and what we're going to have right here is the last mass. So put in your composter. Um, I'm just going to check to see if this is actually sticking out. Yeah, so I've actually got it sticking out rather than it being lower in. That's fine. So I have that there. I was thinking it didn't look quite right. I don't know why. But there we go. We have that there. Then we're going to have our stripped dark oak wood going all the way down. This will be your cabin then. Um, so that's all sorted. 
yeah, that looks better. Um, then what we're going to do is right behind it, we're just going to put in a slab. We're going to have two slabs on the lower piece of the next layer like that so it goes up and then this three that we got at the back which looks really weird um don't worry it'll look better when we've got the next layer in we're just gonna have three slabs there so it does it raises up quite quickly which is kind of what you get with a caravel you really do get this like sudden uh kind of going up uh it gets a lot you know the bigger ships especially you'll you'll see it go quite crazy and then you get your cabin up there which um is quite cool so there we go guys, layer number six, we've got the deck in and we've got where we're going to put the mast. So uh, the next layer, we're going to finish up this back section here. It's all going to look awesome and um, we can then get onto the masts and sails and uh, the rigging and the shrouds and done actually. That's, we're not too far off so we're nearly there with the hull. So to finish up the hole, what we're going to do guys is, uh, actually I've got all the wrong blocks, but we're going to need a slab, a stair, uh, we're also going to need, of the dark oak that is, also going to need an anvil because as you guys know, I love my anvils and you survival, hate, survival players hate me for it, but I like it, um, I think they look good on ships, also going to need a lantern, so there we go. What we're going to do is we're going to have two dark oak slabs on top of those stairs that we had down there, it makes it look like an upside down stair as we're going up so you get this like upside down stair look upside down stair look and guess what guys we're gonna do upside down stairs on the top of this one that's right who would have guessed um absolutely incredible gonna have that there we're gonna have an anvil on the side ways that way and get our upside down stairs in here like that either side of it then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a dark oak slab on top of the anvil we're have a dark oak slab on the upper piece right next to the anvil and then we're gonna go out with one like that so we end up with it sticking out a little bit and we can whack a lantern on there so uh, yeah I just wanted to do that kind of typical thing that you see of a lantern hanging why they had that I don't know who knows does anyone know maybe maybe somebody could comment about that who who knows but guys that is it for finishing up the hull that's all good so we'll get onto the masts next so we're gonna get onto the masts now so to start off you're gonna need a couple of materials, composter, stripped dark oak wood, spruce trapdoor, granite wall, uh, spruce fence, barrel, dark oak stairs, dark oak slab, and an oak fence, at least at the minute. Uh, we might need more, we'll find out. <laughs> but uh, just to get started on the front mast, what we're gonna do is where we've already got that composter, we're gonna add five blocks of your stripped dark oak wood on top. So one, two, two, three, four, and five. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a composter then have a composter moving forward, so the, uh, the actual mast is, is angled. Then on top of this, we're going to have six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six, like that. Then with your granite wall, we're going to have two granite walls. One, two, and two spruce fences on top of that one. So that's our nice front one. Then for, oh, and also actually, we can put a spruce trap door just on top of that uh, to cover up the little hole in the, uh, the old uh, thing, technically. Could be a crow's nest. I don't know. Oh, wow. Uh, stowaway. Um, <laughs> didn't even think that was going to work. Okay. Random. Right. So the ma the middle mast, what we're going to do is going to add eight blocks on top of your stripped. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Put two composters on top. Two composters moving forwards. We're then going to have seven blocks on top of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven two granite walls and two spruce fences and then again with your, your spruce trapdoor whack that on top there like that then for the back mast what we're going to do is have six on top of this one two three four five and six we're going to have a composter on top move the composter forwards and we're going to have three blocks on top of that one one two and three just like that uh two granite walls and two spruce fences like that and then we're gonna have a spruce trapdoor have a spruce trapdoor right on the back there like that nice nicely done really so cool right we're gonna get on to putting in some of the uh the mast thingamajigs so uh on the front one leave two blocks we're gonna actually need a barrel we're gonna place the barrel sideways like that and then we're gonna have a block on either side of it so i'm using sneak and fly at the same time which uh means you don't open the uh inventory just in case you guys are wondering how I'm doing that put block on either side and then I'm gonna have three blocks going out and we're doing this as you can see at an angle so this helps with making this making the sails look really good 
So that's what we're going to have for the front one. The next one we're going to do is right at the top, we're going to be two blocks down again, leave two. Go to the next one, so the third block, have a barrel in there. We're going to have a block on each side just like we did before. This time we're still going to go out at that angle, but we're only going to have, only going to have two blocks. So just two blocks going out like that. Right down, what we're going to do is where we've got the two composters on the first one, we're going to have the barrel going across this side here. And we're going to have two blocks this time on either side, so we actually get a five. And then we're going to go out and we're going to have five, two, three, four, five, because this, after all, is the big mast. This is the main mast. And try not to knock out blocks like I did. There we go. So you get that in there like that. And then for the back, what we're going to do, it's a slightly different one. It's um, sometimes called a spanker. You might have heard that. It's such a weird, uh, funny name. I have no idea why they've called it that. There's probably some stories around that. But with your dark oak stair, have one right next to this here. Move that forwards with a dark oak stair as well. And then what we're going to do is going to have this going back. And again, so you end up with four dark oak stairs going back that way. We're going to move outwards. And we're going to have the stairs going as well. So this is just continuing on. It's just at a slight angle. So we're going to have four of those. Just like we did earlier. There we go. One, two, three, four. All looking good. So with your dark oak slab. Where we've got the bottom of this. We've got a block. Go to the next block. And on the lower one. We're going to have a dark oak slab. Move that forwards by one slab. This is going to be four. So add another two on the back. We're going to go out to the side. And up diagonally by one. So one, two, three, four. So what I mean by that is we've got the lower slab here. We then move to the upper slab with this one here, like that. So that gives us a very good frame. What we'll do now is we're going to put in the rigging. So grab your oak fence. And for the front part of it, we've got it here. Place an oak fence, then have another one. Then we go down and out and down and out and down and out. And we just keep making our way until we hit the front. We've got that bowsprit that we made earlier. There we go. So for this one, I ended up knocking out the kind of chained part of it. So I ended up knocking out the bottom one. Up to you guys if you want to do that. I've been doing this on small ships and I've been kind of liking it actually, if I'm honest. I think it's been looking quite good. And then for the next one, what we're going to do is going to go here. That's where our starting one is. Then go up. So back, oops, back then up and back then up. Then we're going to have one on the up and then just do the same where we knock out those ones there. And that ends up looking pretty good. Right for the back, what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five from that. Then go back, then two, three, four, five, five, and six. There we go. We'll get there eventually. So you end up with this kind of quite nice looking frame for everything. So that's all looking cool. So the last little bit is going to be putting in a crow's nest, which for this one, I've only got one crow's nest. I've put it on the, uh, the actual top of this. So where we've got the main mast, where we've got the uh, kind of bit going across the side. This is where I ended up putting in mine. I think I might have done mine in spruce. I, th I was looking at that going, I think that's spruce wood. So yeah, grab some spruce wood stairs and planks and also some birch. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have a stair on this side. Then have this one curling around the back. So stair there, curl it around the back. And then have a slab going across the back piece there. With our birch fence, we can now put that on top of this like that. We can also grab ourselves a ladder. Grab ourselves a ladder. Right on the back here, we're going to have it going up. I don't usually put it on the bottom block uh, because otherwise you kind of get caught. and You kind of get caught here anyway, to be fair. But that's the reason why, because you can always jump to it. So that's why we go at that. And then just get that up to the top. And now you've got your little crow's nest. So not too bad. It's still quite you know dangerous. You'll fall off it. But you can at least get up to it if you wanted to do that, because I know some people do, uh, especially for survival and things like that. They like having a good viewpoint from somewhere so guys that is it for the kind of uh, masts and frame and all that kind of stuff so we'll get onto the sails um we might actually we're going to do the shrouds first actually we're going to do the shrouds first and then we'll get onto the sails okay so for the shrouds that is this kind of um bit that you usually see pirates climbing up <laughs> in the movies um we've only got one on this one you could if you wanted to put another one in for the front one so you can see the sail, um, I just thought it was a little bit too cramped, it's because there's not a lot of blocks between the two. Same with the one at the back as well, there isn't a lot of blocks. But you could, if you wanted to, uh, put in some shrouds going up, especially on those two sides, and just leave it on, on the other. But it's up to you. But uh, yeah, so one main one, 
We've got uh, birch, birch fence is what I use on this. We've also got spruce slabs. So what we're going to do is place a load of birch fence on top of this. Go again on top of that one. Go once more. Then on the one that's closest to the back of the ship, place another fence in there like that. On the ones at the top, uh, at the front, place two on top like this. We're then going to join this up at the back. So we go one on top of the back and then join those two up there like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have another two on the top of this one, not on that one, just on the frontmost two. Go again with another two like that. On the front have one, on the back have one there and have one there as well and then join this across just like we did before. Then we're going to have two on top of that. But this time, we're going to go forwards with one, so you add another fence in to that bit there. And we're going to have doubles going up to where we've got the composter. So you just double it up to the composter, like that. And then all we do to finish it up is we have singles, or single set, going up to the crow's nest that we've got. So hopefully that made sense. It doesn't matter if you don't get it right um, at all. It is one of those things that nobody's ever going to notice. In fact, it might look even more organic if you... Uh, change it around so it's just what I ended up doing it but if you did want to pause and have a look and go oh yeah that's what I got then I'll give you a couple nice little places to pause with this like that there we go right so the other side what we do same again we're gonna have three lots of your fence on top of the last layer go again and go once more on the back we're gonna have a fence going across the back there the front two add two onto them oops add two onto them then what we're going to do is we're going to join across the back here. So we join it up just like that. And on the front, add another two and another two like that. The frontmost one, add one to the top. And then on the back part of this one here, we add this in the back. And now we can join this up behind it all. And then we can put another layer on top of that. And then this time, as you can see, we get one more coming forwards. And then we have those doubles right here until we get to that composter and then we just have this line here just follows it up until it hits the crow's nest so again I'll give you some pause points just in case that helps you and it's easy just to have a look at it it's not the easiest thing in the world at all so if you do struggle uh, a lot of people do it's just what it is so then we go get that that's the next section after that there and then the final section, it's really difficult to get me get a good good view of it, but that's the final section for it. So there we go. So at least that's part of that. And again, you could do a similar kind of thing on here. All you need to do is just try and get it so that it kind of finishes up here. So you'd end up kind of working that way. Sometimes it's better to work back from the mast and then work out to, uh, to a couple little bits, a couple slabs on the side there. It's totally up to you guys. But... The next part is the sails. So we're now going to get on to the final part of it, which is the sails. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do it tied up first, and I'll show you my organic technique in order to make the sails look good. This is not block by block for this part, so uh, I have not been able to do it block by block. So if we're doing it tidy up, all we need to do is across these squared ones, we go forwards and down. So by there, and we just go one block in front. This is the starting point for both, by the way. This starting point for both is worth doing. If you want to do something like that, and then you can end up having it tied up something like, probably like that. And that would be your tied up sails. What you're trying to do is make it thicker in the middle, as if there's like been some rope and it's for some reason tighter on the edges. I don't know. It's just what it ends up looking like, but uh, we'll go with that. And that's how you do it. You can then replicate that across all of these. I'll show you the one at the end um, when we get to it, which is going to be the last sail that we'll do. So what we do with this is we are going to go forwards from this. We're going to have two blocks going down. And we just follow the pattern of, or the, the kind of shape of the mass that we've actually got. We're now going to go down, and we're going to have three blocks this time. So you can, by the way, guys, just go with this very blocky looking one if you wanted to. Because um, I know some people do struggle. Um, some people go, oh yeah, I get it, and I can do that, no problem. But some people do struggle, and that's okay. Either way is absolutely fine. We're now going to go in. We'll go with a one across here. So there we go, one like that, and we'll do another one. Why not? This, by the way guys, I do not know what I did on the original one. I'm just making it up as I go along, because it's much easier to do that for organics. So you end up with this kind of um, sail that has the rough shape, and I mean, what I mean by that is, you can see that the wind is blowing, you can see that it's curved. That's what I mean by the rough shape. 
but it doesn't look great. We've got lots of straight lines, so how do we deal with that? Number one is we're actually going to cut out a big chunk up here, like that. Just a couple of blocks there. And the same down the bottom, we'll cut out, for example, five. It doesn't have to be five, it can be four, it can be whatever. But that will then give a little bit more shape. Now we've got this kind of like curve here, we've got a little curve there. That helps, but we've still got much, you know, quite a blocky looking ship. So what we can do now is, uh, with these corners, if you knock out a block there and move it forwards, it'll start to curve it in. So this starts looking good. We'll do two blocks here, perhaps. Maybe here, we'll actually knock that one back and push it in. So you start looking at the shape that you've got, and you start playing around with it. And what you'll end up doing is it'll start looking better. For these corner parts, sometimes push it in. I do say sometimes because, again, this is up to you. It's, it's all organic type stuff. So we'll do the same down here as well. We're going to push this back as if it's been pinned because, you know, there'll be some rope off of this and it'll be being pulled back. So we want to kind of make it look like that. Could, in fact, with this one actually go out with one block. That'll make it look a little bit more organic. There we go. That's good. So we've still got this big square bit here, but we can knock that block back there. Maybe we can push this one forwards. We can push that one backwards. So you end up, like, having a look at it. And the more you do of this, the more you just kind of get a feel for it. And the thing is, everybody's is going to be different. And, you know, once you've learned this technique, you will be awesome at it. Because you can do any ship then. Any ship sails any time. So there we go. Let's have a look at that. So what you can kind of see that I've done is we took that really square blockiness and we've kind of broken it up quite a bit. There's still blocks that we could do with tweaking and making it look better. But overall, it looks pretty good. And it looks like the wind is blowing into it. It's getting, you know, caught in different bits of it. You can see it being pushed. And that's kind of what we're wanting to go for. So it all looks kind of cool. And that, that is literally the technique. It is as simple as that. All we need to do is behind this oak fence, I just put in this on the back and I just put it on those bits. You can uh, put it in the gaps as well. I don't, it just looks weird, um, especially when it joins up with these kind of parts. So I just put it on the back to make it look like it's, you know, pinned or connected onto it some way, shape or form. So for the next one, we're gonna start with the top this time. Do a little sail. So we're gonna do one going forwards. Again, if you wanna have it tied up, you're, you're only doing the first parts of this, so it's cool, no problem. Gonna go over two. This one's gonna be really small. <laughs> Such a small sail, but that's fine. Not a problem at all. So we go like this, and let's... What did I do here? I pulled it back in. I was thinking, I'm either going to pull it back in, or I'm going to go out one more and then go in. But uh, yeah, actually, let's do that. Let's mix it up. We're going to go out one more. If it looks rubbish, we can always start again. It doesn't matter. Then we're going to go in with one. That's the thing. It doesn't really matter at all. Oh yeah, it does look a little bit odd, but that's fine. We've now got a little bit more to play with here, so actually we're going to end up switching it probably to like more of a one, 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 two, one pattern thing. So there we go. Let's start uh, start playing around with this. This is going to go back, I think. It's going to look better like that. Put that there. Yeah, this one can go back to there. Have that going out. That looks okay. Oh, we need to knock out some blocks because I forgot about that. Not a problem. We'll get onto that there. We're just going to go free that side. This is going to be knocked back. Maybe we knock this block back. And it's completely organic. Never going to come out the same <laughs> each time. It's kind of part of this. Kind of part of the nice bit. Oh, God, that looks horrible. Because I just created a nice, like, really, I say nice straight line. Really bad straight line. So there we go. That'll do. And to be fair, it's just a top one. It's completely different to this one. Um, but. It'll do as a top sail. No one's going to notice. So, uh, yeah, it's all good. Let's put in some oak fences behind it now. Job done. Right, biggest sail, the super big one. So this nice big one here, the main sail. So we'll go one. Start that off with a nice one. Then we'll go with a two, I think. Yeah, we'll go with two. So we got that two there. And then we're going to go over three. Go forwards, two, three, two, three. Like this. And last one. And now we're going to start going in. So we'll go in with a two, I think. Yeah, we'll go in with a two. 
and that'll probably do. It might be we add in a couple extra blocks on the sides of the ship, the ones that aren't on the hull, or over the hull, should I say. So we'll probably do that now, we'll just do a one. So we've got the frame in there. Uh, actually, knock out that one there. So we can do that as part of the curve that we do, where we knock out some blocks. Kind of already got it built in. So on the top, I'm going to whack out five of these. Yeah, gone. Let's do some curving now, add in a couple extra blocks here. This one does smash into the into the mast, but that's fine, no problem. Um, it's not ideal, um, but because it's quite a small, it is a small ship. I'm going to knock out the middle as well, a couple more blocks. Because it's a small ship, it's going to happen. You know, it's um, quite compact, and I did want to put in three masts, which was quite uh, ambitious, I think is probably the right word. <laughs> But um, it worked out, you know, in the end. It's just because of that you end up getting this quite quite uh, closed in, quite a tight-looking ship. There we go. I'll put it back in that. There, that looks good. I might even go there. This one, and then that means we can push that there. That looks good. There we go. Cool. Put in one here. Go out. We'll have one going up as well. Why not? Now nah, it looks a bit dumb. We'll knock that back. Put that there. No problem. That's what we want. Right. So other side then. There we go, nice and square and boxy. That's exactly what we don't want, but that's fine. We can fix all of this. We can have a couple blocks there, a couple blocks there perhaps. Push this back now. And there we, there we go. And all of this there and two sides there. Oh, oh yep, yeah, the top as well. Before we forget, so we get something like that. It's really difficult to see, isn't it? There you go. So you might get something like that. It doesn't matter if you do or you don't or, or whatever. Really it doesn't at all because it's organic. So I might put that in there. And you can play around with this for ages. Um, eventually, just give up um, because you'll be like, yep, that's good enough for me. And that's absolutely fine because nobody's going to be looking at it and going, oh yeah, the wind doesn't look like it would really be pushing that that way. You need to change one block. Nobody's going to say that ever, hopefully. I don't know, there probably is going to be somebody. But you know what I mean. It's fine. Might actually push these all forwards with one. Yeah, I'll do. Right, so oak uh, fences on the back. Sometimes I forget these and I come back to the ship and I go, oh yeah, I forgot about that. And it's usually when I'm doing the interior that I notice it. But this one's okay. There we go. And then for this sail, the spanker sail. So what we do is we can put blocks directly on top of this there and then if you wanted to do it tied up you would have just some of the middle blocks it's probably actually not that one probably end up having something like that so then it looks you know you've got again the thicker part in the middle and that will all do but what we're going to do of course is make it like a normal sail so we can bring a couple of these down uh, maybe join up this one as well join up that one join up that one join that up there and we'll go forwards from it like this and behind, let's go to there, yeah, there we go, that looks good. Okay. Push that out, and there. It looks a bit rubbish here, so that's fine. And it doesn't matter if it looks a little bit rubbish, you can always tweak it. What did I do on my other one, because this one looks much better. I have no idea what I did to make that look different. I got a couple blocks pushed back. That's probably why. So because of that, it kind of gives it that depth. Yeah, so I think because these like ones are pushed back. Oh, I can't push push that one back. I need something there, don't I? Mm. So that doesn't work as well, but push something in there. Maybe do that there. Maybe do that there. Maybe even have these two blocks down here pushing in. Just maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, we're gonna have a couple, and we're gonna push them back. My other one looks way better, and I couldn't tell you why. So, you know, who knows? I think the other one looks better. <laughs> I could not tell you why though at all. So that's what I ended up getting with that one. That's what I ended up getting with this one, trying to make the, uh, the wind look like it's pushing it. It's, you know, Play around with it as much as you want to, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. I've had a look at some of the sails I've done be uh, previously, and I've gone, that looks terrible. But the thing is, when you're, you've are you got a load of ships around, you don't notice a single thing, 
Um, it looks absolutely fine. So, you know, it's, it's like the minute detail. It's like this tops out. I'm not that happy with that one. Uh, I think this one looks better. Um, I'm not totally sure why. It just kind of does. I think it's because it's like higher where the, air, the, the where the wind's pushing into it. I think that looks better. I don't know if that's just me or what, but uh, should be should all be good. But there you go. That's organic sails for this small caravel. So let's have a look at the interior, and then we're all done, guys. All right. So here is the ship moored up in uh, Lordsport. So I've actually got mine. Yeah. Unloading some, well not really unloading some cargo actually, um, it's just on one of the main piers, probably has already unloaded the cargo or it's been loaded up, who knows, but there you go, that's what it looks like when all of its sails are up, exactly the same way that I showed you guys earlier. So I've not got anything on deck at the minute, I've kept mine pretty tidy and pretty clean. If we go below deck, um, in the front part I've just got yeah, loads of uh, stuff really, so you know, crafting tables and barrels and stuff and things and all that kind of stuff. Lots of chests, sea pickles as the old uh, drinks. Uh, we got some water in here, because fresh water, of course, very important. In this little back section, I was like, actually, this is quite nice and like kind of private. Uh, so I decided to put in bunk beds this time, uh, rather than having like hammocks or anything uh, hanging up. I was like, well, let's go with that. Yeah, not very realistic, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, you can get these kind of like beds that are like hammocks that's really weird if you have a look on like ships like HMS Victory or if you get to get a chance to go and visit it, it it's really strange um, but yeah um, toilet so uh, I haven't done one of these on a ship yet so uh, you know usually it will be uh, going off the edge going <laughs> going off the side I was like well you could have a toilet or a bin or something like that. I don't know I think they'd probably just throw everything out overboard but it's a <laughs> it's a toilet in there. Why not? Uh, for the cabin, um, got a nice little step up. So in here, got a pink bed. Haven't used a pink bed. I'm trying to use all the different coloured beds. It's purely it, so I'm just working, up, working my way through it. Um, the desk, I actually ended up using this little ledge that we got um, as the desk. And it works perfectly. So I just put in a little seat there. Um, you know, got some hooks for some clothes, a little bookcase, a little shelf and thing here, and a chest and a little lantern. So it's kind of a bit weird because, you know, normally you have this is your eye level. But instead, that's the kind of desk thing. Um, it, it just works, but uh, it is what it is. I'm pretty happy with it. It looks pretty cool in the port anyway. You know, it all fits in quite nicely here. So all looking pretty good. Anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I will see you on the next one. Later.